Let's look at this classic example of a related rate problem. It is the one that involves a ladder leaning up against a vertical wall. All right, in this problem, we have a ladder that is 10 meters long is leaning against a vertical wall with its other end on the ground. The top end of the ladder is sliding down the wall. When the top end is 6 meters from the ground, it is sliding at 2 meters per second. How fast is the bottom moving away from the wall at this instant? It's a lot of information given in that one paragraph, so we're going to use the following steps to help break down the information. So remember these steps. Step one is to draw a picture. Let's do that. So we're going to put our vertical wall in the ground, and then we're going to have a ladder leaning up against the wall. Okay, so that's the picture that describes what's happening. Now, assign, so remember step two, assign variables to all changing values. So let's, let's see what's changing. If my wall, if my ladder is sliding down the wall, then this distance is getting smaller and this distance is getting bigger. So let's assign variables to those two changing distance. We'll call this one y and this one x. Okay, good. Now I did, uh, so we, we should write, let y equal the distance from the top of the ladder to the, uh, to the ground. And we'll say that x equals the distance from the bottom of the ladder to the wall, to the wall, yes, the bottom of the ladder to the wall. Alright, I kind of did step two and three at the same time. Label my picture with variables and constants. Now look what I have here. Do not assign a variable to a constant value to avoid confusion. Okay, sometimes we want to label this as z. However, this distance is not changing throughout this whole problem. The ladder stays 10 feet long the whole time. So we're going to go ahead and label it 10 and not give it a variable. Good. All right, the next step is name what you are looking for in terms of what you know. Well, what are we looking for? How fast is the bottom moving away from the wall at this instance? That's asking how fast is x changing? So we are looking for dx dt. All right, now what are we given? The top, or when the top is 6 meters from the ground, it is sliding at 2 meters per second, which means this distance is changing at 2 meters per second when y is 6. So let's write what we know. When y equals 6, dy dt equals 2 meters per second, and since it's getting smaller, we represent this idea with a negative. Okay? Now, find a relationship between what you know and what you are looking for. So we need a relationship between x and y. And we have it over here in our picture. The Pythagorean theorem describes the relationship between x, y, and 10. So we get x squared plus y squared equals 10 squared or 100. All right. Now, we, it says if we have more than one var or more than two variables, we need to find additional relationships. But we only have two, so we're good to go as is. Now we're going to differentiate both sides with respect to time. Remember that. These are both functions of time, which means when we differentiate with respect to time, we're going to have to use implicit differentiation. So we get 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt equals 0. I could divide everything through by 2, and I just get dx dt, I'm sorry, x dx dt plus y dy dt equals 0. Now, at this point, I usually go back and look and remind myself, what is it I'm looking for? dx dt, because I have a lot going on here, and I circle it to just remind myself that I need to solve for that, which means I need to be able to plug in values for all the rest. So let's solve for dx dt. So dx dt is equal to minus y, I'm going to move that over, dy dt divided by x. All right. Now I want to plug in all values for 
the uh, variables over on the right side. Now notice I'm given y is 6, I'm given dy dt is negative 2, but I'm not given x. But fear not, we have a relationship right here between x and y. So if I know y, I should be able to find x. And I can't, so I'm going to plug in 6 for y squared, and I get x squared plus 6 squared, which is 36, equals 100. Or x squared equals 64, x equals 8. All right, I'm ready to plug things in now. Okay, so dx dt equals, so my negative y, negative 6 over 8 times dy dt, which is negative 2. Okay? So this actually reduces to 12 over 8, which reduces to 3 halves. Make sure you include your units, which are meters per second. So dx dt equals 3 halves meters per second, which is positive, which makes sense because, remember, x is getting bigger as y gets smaller. So my last step is to make sure I answer the original question asked, which is, how fast is the bottom moving away from the wall at this instant? And here is my answer.